This weekend we saw the Purge Anarchy and Sex Tape, but first let's talk about the Purge Anarchy. In in this film, who are like, we haven't purged enough low lives. We have to yeah. purge more people. And it's like yeah. weird cleansing and like, yeah. and then also like just the fear in people's eyes because they know, like the the couple in the car. Are you Shane, talking about yes, Shane and Eva? Ava, uh, yeah. Ava? Um, Names aren't important in yes, this version. Uh, Shane is, he also played Matt Saracen mm -hmm. in Friday Night Lights, which was, he was sewed up in that. And then there's also a revenge tale that kind of intersects with uh, Joe Brock, who played one of the S.H.I.E.L.D. slash Hydra agents in Captain America Winter Soldier. Who builds his own, he, in this movie, he builds his own tank. He's it's a, literally. He's a cop who builds his own tank. Yeah, it's literally like the game Twisted Metal, except real life. So that's fun. And he just gets a bunch of machine guns. And he's like, I'm going to go find the dude who uh, was drunk and ran over my son. Yep. And then he's also like. But then I'm he gonna... does like some, he does some like protective purging. He does protective purging. He does reverse purge. I just says protective spurving. Yeah. And I was trying to say protective purging. But it was, I like it when you put your spin on words. Yes. That's my whole thing, though. You just love to spin things. Give yeah, them a whatever twist. it is. You do those, little... Your favorite kind of painting are the ones that you do at carnivals where you just pour paint on the spin. Spin art? Yeah. Yeah, those are very cool. Um, let me okay, so number one, this purge is, oh, it's different, but kind of the same. You know, it's the same in Well, they in take premise. it outside. That's what, they take it to the streets, much like David Bowie and Mick Jagger. It's just like that video. Yes. Yeah. Um, Dancing but, in the streets. Yeah. It definitely, different. it gives it, clearly d gives it a different feel, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, the first one, like, it had much more of a horror element, I feel like, the first one. Just because, There's like, way more suspense. Yeah, it's more lurking. I'm like, what's around this corner? What's around this corner? This one still has that, but it's, it's also movie. people, yeah, yeah, just blowing things up and walking down an alley with a machine gun like Omar on the wire. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to, like, see some movie that's, like, uh, an indie film about romance in the turn of the century this right. isn't it right this it but if you want to go see destruction and anarchy and uh non-stop action and uh and oh and and the weirdest slash most believable premise that america would be like no one day one day yeah, here we're gonna we get it all that. out of our yeah, system yeah. i kind of feel like the purge anarchy was just like a long metaphor for black friday oh like, yeah totally but like without tvs yeah it was Anyway, it, it was okay. You know what it was? We had we had a really fully, emo, fully, uh, full weekend of all the emotional spectrums. That's right. what I was trying to say. Yes. We had anarchy, murder, ultra violence, ultra violence, and, anarchy, and then we had love, relationships, sex, sex tape. Sex tape. Yeah. Yes. We saw both of those this weekend. Yeah. I mean, you had way more love and like, love, love, sex. Not a love tape. Drama. Aaron. Not a love tape. It's a sex tape. Okay, you but know? they're married. They still love okay. each other. Well, we started talking about this, and we were like, hey, why don't we mix these two genres up, right? Some little yeah. bit of horror, a little bit of sexy, and hashtag our own sexier slasher films. Here's what you do. Take a horror movie, give it a sexy little twist in the title, hashtag it, put it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for your chance to win a Hercules Jawbone Fitness Band. How easy is that? It's so easy. You just All you have to do is write. We'll show you... We'll, we'll give, you, give you some jumping off points. We'll, we'll do a little demo. Yeah. You want to do a little demo? Can I go? As long as it's slightly competitive. It is a little competitive. Okay. Don't you worry. Uh, okay. Again, here are my hashtag sexier slasher films for your chance to win. Subscribe and leave your own hashtag sexier slasher films in the comments below. First one. Uh-oh, Aaron. The sexorcist. The sexorcist. Got it. Aaron. Here's number two. Whoa. The Texas porn star massacre? Okay. Here's number three, the oh, oh, omen, the omen, Aaron. Oh, uh, no, don't do that, don't do that face, that's not, oh, that... oh man, I should have done it like that, oh, man. <laughs> no one will understand it. You don't oh. understand. You give your girlfriend a mask, right, when you no, no. do that? No, nope. okay. I actually put those horse blinders on her so we can only look at each other. <laughs> I feel bad for horses and now everyone in this situation. All right, here are my hashtag sexier slasher films. I won't be making any faces, I hope. Um, don't forget to write your own in the comments below, and you can enter to win the Jawbone Fitness Bracelet. Number one, Paranati Activity. Nice. Yeah, ghosts, sex, ghosts and sex. <laughs> Number two, I Know Who. 
you did last summer. Not me. Yoinks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is just this is just turning into how many faces you can make. <laughs> Yoinks. Sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. Okay. Yeah. The last one. The leprechaun. Oh. Yeah, thanks. God, that was really good. Yeah. You win. Throw up. Throw up the graphic. Tight, Thank dude. You so I am much. Yeah. a sucker for a good leprechaun joke, you know? Okay, we're going to be back next week. I'm going to be back for sure. Aaron Gibson. I, uh, I'm, oh. We don't know what's going to happen, but we do know that we're going to have an amazing show next week, and we'd love to see you, in theory, back yes. here. Because we can't actually see you. Yes, and I am Yasser Lester. I didn't mean what I just said. Okay. And that's Aaron Gibson, and yeah. we'll see you guys next week. Well, we said it. I uh, but like you they can edit around that. There's no way they would keep that in there. They're gonna keep this in here, they're gonna keep that in there. Mm -hmm.